Hey everybody, welcome to the Dirk Hayden Show. Sorry for the layoff, but we're here to talk about stupid genre things and conventions, okay? It starts a little bit like this. You ever watch a movie where people are doing things that are so stupid that you can't believe that they're being that stupid about things? For example, Tomb Raider, the first one. The one without the guy in 300. The whole MacGuffin is this magical triangle that's been broken in half. One half is in the North Pole, the other half is in Cambodia, next to the orphanage where Angelina Jolie gets her kids. Anyway, she finds the Cambodian half and picks up a kid, and then she goes to the North Pole to find the other half, at which point the bad guys put it together and threaten to destroy the world. Now, if an evil gizmo requires both halves, why are you taking it to the where the other half of the evil gizmo is? That's just not right. You break the other half, you take the kid home, you know, and then you steal, you know, Brad Pitt from somebody. I have to say, pretty much nobody has ever followed the evil overlord list as far as I can I, I can recall in the history of movies. Uh, speaking of, it's basically just a lovely list that just denotes what you should not do if you want to actually take over the world. One. Never have freaking kids, especially beautiful daughters, who, for some strange reason, love to be attracted to the bumbling fool that just happens to be your downfall. Two, would that be the would that be the bumbling fool who you like you killed their parents and you know when they were young and still wearing loincloths and then they come back to you exactly know, okay, no just, Conan situations, people. Is that what happened to Conan? Exactly. Darth Vader killed Conan's folks. I look for a man with two moons of a snake. I haven't seen Conan since it came out, so... It... It's the best fantasy you're gonna find. And it's not that much No, no. The best fantasy I'm gonna find involves Angelina Jolie while Brad's taking the kids out for ice cream. Alright? It's not Lord of the Rings. Secondly, don't monologue. Just kill a guy. Then you can monologue over his dead freaking corpse. Now, is that the evil overlord or is that the Incredibles? Or did the Incredibles steal from the evil overlord? They stole from the evil overlord because the evil overlord came from way before this. But it's applied for Bond villains. It's applied for pretty much any villain in any movie ever made. What do they always do? Start yapping and not enough shooty shooty bang bang. Do you expect me to die? No, I expect you to listen to me talk forever. Never tell them your plan. Just do your plan. That way they have no idea how to stop you. You know, that's one thing you gotta give it up for gangster rap, you know. They don't, you know, it's like, you know, aren't you gonna tell me your evil plan? <laughs> you know, and then they smoke a fatty! Or not. <laughs> or do a fatty. If you're lucky. But hey. anyway. <laughs> Fat chicks need love too. Fat chicks need love too, but they gotta pay. <laughs> Cutting all this. Okay, no, no, you put that in. I'm cutting this entire episode. You're putting that in. No, change the background. I want me someplace else. Leave him there. Anyway. No. Oh. <laughs> the other problem I have with these stupid things is like Lord of the Rings. One ring. Let's make one object really small and easy to lose that contains all the evil of the universe. And, you know, it's great as long as you have it, but as we saw in Lord of the Rings, if you don't have it, you're you're a burning CBS eye over a tower, and you know where the hell are you that? And you know a bunch of munchkins are gonna find it and walk for twelve hours and drop it into a you know volcano. So yeah, pretty much, pretty much. So uh, in closing, you always want to make sure that you kill the you kill the guy. With kill the, the guy. Kid. Always, always kill any bumbling always, fool always, in your kingdom. Always kill the bumbling fool. There's no point in having them around if they're going to be comic relief for the, for the good guys. Kill them off so they have nothing to cheer themselves up about when they're about to die. Okay, remember, if you find one half of an all-powerful device that can destroy the universe if it falls in the wrong hands, don't take it to the other half. Leave it where you found it, or break yeah, exactly. it, and go home with Angelina Jolie and the kid. Either that or sell it to a pawn shop and say, F*** it. Don't feed it after midnight. Exactly. And don't put it up your butt.